So you got into home espresso with a single boiler machine. It was relatively cheap and easy, but after using it for a while, you're tiring of the weight involved when going from brewing to steaming. Hey, Mark here from WholeLotTheyLove.com, and today we're talking upgrades. Now, the typical step up from a single boiler machine is to a machine with a heat exchange boiler. These allow for brewing and steaming simultaneously, which is way more fun, better brew temperature control for better espresso, and a significant jump in steaming power, which is so important if you want a super fine microphone for truly exceptional milk-based drinks. Now, you can expect to spend in the range of one to $2,000 on a heat exchange machine. During this video, I'll have specific recommendations for some heat exchange machines that are good values. All are well reviewed with proven track records of long term performance. Now, if you're upgrading to a more capable machine, don't forget the grinder. At the end of the day, espresso quality is more dependent on the grind than the machine. Having a terrific machine is really no help if you're feeding it with an inferior grind. At Whole Latte Love, we carry more than 30 burr grinders capable of feeding higher end espresso machines. So there's a lot to choose from. So before I get to espresso machine recommendations, here are three grinder standouts in a range of prices. The Breville Smart Grinder Pro is an excellent value and is appropriate for budget conscious users in low volume situations. It has a less powerful motor and lacks the more robust build of some of the other options, but it's got some nice features and moves quickly from grinding for espresso to other brew methods like drip and press. The Barazza Vario is a solid step up from the Breville. For a number of years, it's been considered the entry point into high-end espresso grinding. And like the Breville, moves quickly to grinding for other brew methods. It's capable of delivering a grind suitable for even prosumer level machines. With the Vario, you'll have easier and finer control of grind size with its macro and micro adjustments, sturdier construction, and a more powerful motor. The next step up are the commercial style grinders. On a price performance basis, one of our favorites is the Chiato E6P. It features all metal construction and Chiato steady lock technology for a very consistent particle size in the grounds. The E6P is a stepless grinder, meaning extremely fine user control of grind size. It's also one of the easiest grinders to clean and calibrate. It's a fine example of a good value in an espresso-focused grinder that should provide many years of reliable service. So a lot of grinders to choose from, but any of the three mentioned are good choices depending on your situation. Like most things, you get what you pay for. If you have grinder questions or need more advice, use those comments and I'll be happy to help. So on to the machines. Again, a lot to choose from, so I'll focus on heat exchange machines that have solid reputations with regards to espresso quality and steaming performance and are good values. First up are the Expo Bar office machines. There are four machines in the office line. There's the Pulser, the Control, the Lever, and the Lever Plus. All four are pretty much identical internally and all use Expo Bar's custom E61 thermosiphon group which features a pre-infusion chamber above the shower screen which wets the coffee prior to the full pressure extraction. The office pulser uses a switch to start brewing. The office control model has programmable volume buttons. The lever has the standard lever operated E61 group and the lever plus is the plumbable version for a direct water line connection. Starting at about $1,100, Expo Bar office machines produce excellent espresso via the custom E61 group and are known for well-balanced and powerful steaming. Use the link up here for a detailed comparison and an inside look at all four Expo Bar office machines. The Nuova Simonelli Oscar is a longtime favorite of those upgrading from single boiler machines and they've recently introduced the Oscar II, which features some improvements. The Oscar II has a large two liter copper boiler. The brew group is not an E61, but is thermosiphon for good brew temperature stability. Steaming is through a four hole tip. Shot volumes are programmable and are activated from buttons above the group. The Oscar II is rated for light commercial use and is a great choice for offices with adapters available for easy brewing with ESE pods and espresso point capsules. 
The last machine we'll look at is the Profitech Pro 500. It's a more traditionally styled machine with a mirror finished stainless case and drip tray. It has the E61 group, but where this machine really shines is in the quality of the components from massive sprung commercial quality valves, Jakar controls, commercial grade Sarai pressure stat, stainless steel boiler, and all copper plumbing. The Pro 500 features all the finest components available. Thanks to a great pump mount, the Pro 500 is also one of the quietest vibration pump machines available. With all that, the Pro 500 is just a few hundred dollars more than some of the other options. Now, if you'd like to learn more, use the link up here for our video tour deep inside our favorite heat exchange espresso machine. Like the grinders, these machines are just a few of the options if you're looking to upgrade from a single boiler. If you have any questions, use those comments and I'll get you the answers. I'm Mark from Holatelove.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll be back soon for more of the good stuff on Everything Coffee. Hey, why not subscribe now for easy free access to more videos on Everything Coffee brought to you by Holatelove.com. Oh.